So that, right, so I've just started the recording. <clears throat> so, um, for those that have been on this call before, you, you'll know that this, this particular one is about uh, uh, products, it's a product showcase. Um, and it's one of about 20 calls done, as I understand it, um, live every week to introduce uh, people to uh, Niken, um, its products, uh, the technologies and the business. And uh, if, you know, if you're interested in, in building a business, then uh, there are some fantastic um, webinars to help you with that as well. And I have to say, I think these were started about er earlier in the year, and I just think such a fantastic idea to um, inform ourselves. This isn't uh, put on by Niken. This is uh, purely by consultants to support each other. Um, and I think it's a fabulous idea. And these are recorded so that you can refer back to them or even uh, pass them on to somebody else, uh, somebody who you want to introduce to the business or the products. Um, <clears throat> so it's actually, this is open to um, existing consultants and also people wanting to know more about the Niken business. Um, and I just want to say a quick welcome to Colette. I have mentioned her already. Um, she's partnering me on this webinar. Do you just want to say hello, Colette, from Ireland? Hello, hello Kathleen. Hello, everybody from beautiful uh, Midlands of Ireland. I'm really looking forward to sharing the little bit of knowledge I have about these wonderful products. Thank you. And um, wonderful. Thank you, Kathleen. Okay. Yes. Um, I don't think you're used to in America hearing uh, from the UK. And in fact, we've uh, only recently found out about these wonderful webinars that you have going on uh, in, in America. And we've started to tap into them. And uh, Randy's a, a good friend of mine. I've been getting to know her recently. And uh, so she just called on me because, of course, a lot of the American people will actually be on their way to San, San Antonio. My uh, my interest in Niken actually started about 14 years ago. Um, it started with the water. I actually came across um, a Japanese man, not Mr. Masuto, it was actually um, somebody involved with macrobiotics. And we were in London, and he was quite a small Japanese man um, in his late 70s in a beautiful pinstripe suit. And uh, we sat in a circle and he was going to give us a consultation, which was quite extraordinary um, because all he did was look at us around the circle and was able to tell us what conditions we had. And he was spot on most times. Towards the end, and by the way, he sat, this nearly 80-year-old gentleman, uh, in this beautiful suit, cross-legged on a chair incredibly healthy and uh, this inspired me and towards the end he started to talk about live water energized water and um i i wonder what this was i was quite interested i had actually experienced some beautiful water in athens from uh uh one of the springs there and i did declare to myself that i wanted to find beautiful water like that again and he, um this gentleman was talking about live water and after the meeting, nobody knew about it. So I put my feelers out. And eventually, two years later, someone from up north in England actually contacted me and said, you can get live water from Niken. So that was the beginning of my um, experience and being with Niken. But actually, I was interested in health right from the, uh, uh, quite an early age. I was 16 and I came across yogurt. And I was told it was very good for you. And uh, I just started to get really interested in, in food at that time. And um, as I did more research, I started to understand that our bodies have a natural way to um, heal themselves. They naturally want to heal themselves. And there's a great book uh, called um, Never Be Sick Again by Raymond Francis. Um, and what he talks about, because he actually cured himself, he was actually on the dying, he was dying. Um, they gave him hours, 
And he decided at that point he wanted to live. And um, I won't tell you the story. You may want to read about it. It's quite extraordinary. But what he discovered was all the cells in our body malfunction if one, they're not given the nutrients that they need, so there's a deficiency, or there's toxicity, which is an excess of toxins and stress, which, which uh, cause the cells to malfunction. And what he understood was, and, and from his, all his uh, 30 years of research, is that we just have to make sure that we uh, prevent our bodies from being toxic and we ensure that those cells are given all the nutrients that they need. With those two things happening, the body will heal itself. So I've, I've been interested in that whole concept for many years. And um, I've steered away from drugs and uh, the medical profession only because I wanted to experiment and see how I can actually keep myself well. And it's always been about reducing the amount of toxins in my home, in my environment, and giving myself the um, nutrients that my body needs. So I'm gonna now bring up, um, share my screen, and take you through a presentation, a Nikken presentation. But I wanted to set that context first. Okay, so I'm assuming you can see this, is that right? Yes, perfect. Can you see? Great. Thank yes, you. Perfect. <laughs> it's quite exciting because it's the first time I've actually done a presentation on this. I have done a few bits of practice. Okay, the first slide. Discover active wellness. Um, for us to be well, it is an active thing to do. You know, we can't just eat any old thing. Uh, not concern ourselves with our lifestyle and our environment without it ha making a difference. Because um, the next slide actually uh, talks about this well. Every day we have habits and those habits over time will either support us or um, not support us. And uh, we've got this choices, be, uh, cho choices, behavior, and results. We have this uh, phrase in Nikken, which is humans being more. And humans being more is in, in our health, in the way that we are in our lives, in our dreams, and uh, what we want to bring about in our lives. And our lifestyle and what we do on a day-to-day -day basis, our habits will determine whether we are being more in our lives, we are being well, we are uh, making a difference, etc., or humans under stress, <laughs> which is the other possibility. And apparently, there's a, there's a good book called The Slight Edge, um, and he very much talks about this. It's a brilliant book. And he said, you're not actually standing still. You're either um, going down that slippery slope but it never shows on a day-to-day -day basis. So if you eat your, um, you know, you have your coffee every day over a period of time, that will send you in a certain direction. I'm not putting coffee down particularly, but you know, certain things that don't support us. Or if we're doing things that do support us on a daily basis, we will go in another direction. So every day, those choices will take us in one direction or not. And things tend to be habitual. And this is what I love because we can change our habits and over time change who we are and, uh, and our experience of ourselves and also who we become in terms of our health and the effect that we have in the world. So I love that. I love, I could talk about this whole concept for, for ages because I love it. Okay, so health facts. Um, Stress, the silent killer. It impacts heart disease, diabetes, fatigue, allergies, sleep, and weight. Um, stress can be manifest not just by what we're doing every day, you know, what, what the habits that we choose every day, but also the environment that we put ourselves into. Um, 
stress can be caused. I'll give you an example. I had a friend, I've got a friend who asked me to come and help her. Uh, she just had an operation. She couldn't clean her home or do things around the home for about a week. So I went round to her home and, um, you know, I cleaned the bathroom for her and I used one of her products and I broke out in sneezing. I just did one spray and I just felt really uh, not very well and um, started sneezing and sneezing. And I thought, what the, what's going on? And then I suddenly realized I was using this product because I don't use any of those products that can actually um, affect me negatively. So, you know, that was a stress on my body that day. Now, as people get used to certain things, it's still having a stress on the body, but not necessarily uh, noticeable. Uh, people might think they've got a cold or something like that. So stress has come in different ways. Sleep, 70% um, have sleep issues, apparently. This, these statistics, I think, are American. Um, but we all know that sleep is very, very important. Or maybe you don't, but it's worth looking up. If you, you know, um, When I don't sleep well, and I, I have actually started a ritual because uh, I do have the Nikken sleep system. However, if I don't eat well, if I don't have regular going to bed at a certain time, I don't sleep well. So there's, there are other things that, that you need to be aware of in terms of making sure that you sleep. And so when I talk to people about sleep, I also talk about being regular, um, about what you're eating, about coffee. Uh, I know someone who, if, if he drinks coffee in the day, he doesn't sleep that night. Literally one coffee will do it for him. So air. Air is just so crucial. My sister, she lives in Bristol, um, and she's got a motorway next to her. And she's forever coming out to see me because uh, we have beautiful air where I live, right near the, near the, um, uh, the sea. And... I don't know if you know, but air pollution in the home is worse than being outside or can be. So um, looking after the air in your home, having open windows, etc., but also um, just being aware that what we have in our homes will, will affect us. Um, I had my home painted a year ago and I had non-toxic paint and even that paint affected me. So there are a lot of things that can affect us in the home. Water is one of my favorite subjects. As I said, I went to Athens and I had this most beautiful water uh, that tasted like nectar, actually. And I'd never tasted anything like it before or since until I came across uh, the Nikken water. Um, but also there's the whole effect of the bottles. Um, I have a friend who's... Um, just done a film and if anyone wants to know and receive that film from me you can send me an email it's just coming out and it's all about plastic and the pacific ocean and how that whole thing can be turned around there are four strategies that that the governments in the world if they did and we do ourselves can change that whole whole situation so moving on health trends one out of every five adolescents I mean, this whole slide is about um, young people and, uh, you know, the effects of our way of life nowadays. And, I, you know, too many, cho too many children are ill. Um, and uh, it's, it's such a shame. When I was young, um, I don't think there was anyone overweight in my, in my classes. But I look around, even where I live now, that there's a lot of young children that are overweight. And that causes a lot of stress. So I'm just going to move on now. So it's really being healthy by choice. So those actions that we do on a day-to-day -day basis uh, can support our health and our aliveness and our contribution to the world. Now, Nikken um, has a holistic approach uh, to life. And I think this is uh, quite wonderful. When I first came across it, I sort of knew these things, but uh, I know that, you know, if my finances aren't good, it affects me and it affects people around me because if I'm concerned, others are concerned as well. My mind, um, how I interpret the mind piece of this 
is it's about learning and about constantly improving and uh, developing myself in life. Uh, I got interested in that when I was 21, actually. I started to realize that it wasn't just about going to school and college, but it was about, you know, what choices do I make in terms of my mindfulness, uh, what, what uh, even thoughts I decide to have on a daily basis and those that I put my attention on, and also the way that I am with other people. My body, obviously, it's about taking care of this. I can always do better. I certainly can. And, and um, recently I've been getting up at five uh, with the idea to meditate. And uh, I'm now going to the health center to exercise every day. Um, I'm 63 and I, I'm quite flexible actually. Uh, however, I've just put myself on a regime because I want myself to be strong as I go uh, into my older age. Family is very important. Uh, it can be that people are working so much they don't get to see their family, particularly young families, uh, or there are activities that we can do with our family. However, work often takes precedent than, than uh, time that we can spend with our families. And of course, as society, what difference do we want to make in our involvement in society? I can walk out this door and walk up into town, it's 10 minutes away, and start chatting with someone and invariably someone has got some problem or other. And uh, people love to be heard. Um, something that I'm concentrating on at the moment is really hearing people, uh, letting them communicate their concerns without coming up with a solution. We so often come up with solutions with actually what often people need at that moment in time is to be heard. So there's lots of ways we can make a difference to society. As we walk out the door, we can smile. We can say hello to people. And you'll see that people smile back. You know, those little things can make a difference. We can acknowledge people on a day-to-day -day basis. So that's the, the society piece. And of course, it's very broad. Uh, maybe you want to make a lot of money so you can help with charities, etc. So. But all of these elements are important uh, to have balance and uh, feel well in, well in life. Because I think we all like to make a difference to society. And of course, then there's finances, as I mentioned right at the beginning, is to have our finances to support us. Okay, so moving on. Right, so we had five elements there. We've also got five elements uh, with um, the products. I'm now going on to the products that, uh, with Niken. And they really focus on what would happen if we were out living in uh, nature, let's say hundreds of years ago. We would have good air. We would be sleeping on the ground and in touch with the magnetic field. We would be having clear, live water from bubbling streams we would probably have untaminated food and we'd have the sunlight. So what Niken has done is looked at all those elements that we would naturally have and brought them into the home, which is called the Niken Wellness Home. Such a wonderful concept because I've seen people who've been unwell get well by having the right environment for their body to, to for its, because of course it heals itself. Pills don't heal our body. It just needs the right environment to heal itself. So we're now breaking down more specifically the different areas. In terms of nutrition and, and skincare, Niken have an amazing array, and I'm not going to go into it all, um, but just so you know, on the food side of it, I've been doing some research again. I'm always doing research. And... We, if, if we're not eating organic food, and by the way, even organic food nowadays can be uh, not very nutritional um, because of the soil. You have to think of, I don't know if you know, but uh, there were some ladies in the 30s that predicted, and they came up with the whole idea of uh, organics. Um, in the 30s, they predicted that people would be unwell in the next 10 or 20 years, this was in the 30s, um, because of what we were doing to the soil or not doing to the soil. The soil was becoming 
depleted. And so the food was not as nutritious. And I mentioned right at the beginning, we need nutrition for ourselves to be not deficient and to, be, and to maintain our health. So Niken have various products that ensure, there's one that's not there actually, it's called Greenzymes, it's green food. And apparently that food has got all the nutrients we need to live off. I've, I've actually fasted and had just that for a while and it's really made me feel great. And my sister uses it to calm her body down. She uh, has a tendency towards arthritis and she just like, calms her body down. It's the time, oh goodness. I'm going to move on. I'm going to spending a lot more time than I realized. Um, the water, I've mentioned the water. Um, that's the environment pack. So it's make sure that your environment, your air, the water you drink, the light that you have in your, your home supports your health. And then there's the rest and relaxation, and that's the magnetic field. It's a huge subject, but in fact, um, naturally, we need to be linked to the magnetic field for us to be well. So that's it. I'm now going to, I'm going to just give you one little testimonial of mine, and I'm going to uh, pass you to Colette. Um, I used to have serious back pain. About once a year, it, my back would get a little twinge and then I would be laid up for um, about a week. And the last time I had it, I had pain in my back for three months. I was under a chiropractor for three months. I spent nearly 2,000 English pounds to get myself right. And uh, I, when I had these pains, they were really, not not nice i used to crawl to the bathroom so i then uh, bought the niken sleep system which uh you know connects me to the um magnetic field and fire infrared which is all about the technologies and that's a bigger subject but i suddenly realized i did not have these pains anymore so uh which was extraordinary um they just left me i didn't realize that that was what was going to happen um, so fantastic but generally I wasn't unwell other than that and so that just disappeared so I'd like to pass you on to Colette if I may Colette if you'd just like to say a bit about your background uh, how you got involved with Niken and, and give a few testimonies it would be fabulous okay how many minutes do I have um you have five minutes or so. Okay. Is it okay if we go over just slightly a few minutes? Okay. We, we okay. started a bit late, so. Yeah. Okay, is that okay? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, well, I'm Colette and I live here in Ireland and uh, my background was in interior design. So about 18 years ago, I was a self-employed interior designer um, researching ways uh, to or researching products, non-chemical products for my clients. And I was tormented with back problems for maybe seven years. And on off a day, a week, then maybe two weeks in bed. Then anyway, eventually it got so bad, I spent one year in bed on um, a very kind doctor. He came and injected morphine and I had an even kinder husband who uh, supplied me with brandy to see if we could help this pain. Anyway, I eventually had back surgery and because I was self-employed, I now didn't have a business. So um, I looked at, as you said, I was researching uh, ways of non-chemical non -chemical products uh, for my clients. And I came across, Kathy mentioned paint there, and 20 years ago, uh, non-chemical or water-based paint was very exciting. And then I discovered a, a subject called feng shui. And I thought feng shui was about color, it was about nature, which I was researching. And I was invited to uh, an exhibition in England, a feng shui exhibition in England. And at this stage, I'd had my back surgery. I was wearing a steel corset or a corset with steel lats in it to hold my, my spine up. And sitting was a huge challenge after my surgery. Anyway, I went to this feng shui um, 
convention. It was a four day, three or four day convention. And day two, I was a hospital case. And in the foyer, there was all these um, feng shui masters and we had one th all these fantastic people selling their wares. But in a corner here, I saw somebody lying on the ground. I said, that's what I need to do. I need to lie on the ground. I need to be able to just lie. And I went over to the stand and I said, my back, I, can you do anything to fix my back? They put me standing on a pair of these guys. They weren't those. These are my original insoles. They're a little bit worse for wear. They put me standing on a pair of these. Now, I was too, my body was too sore for anybody to physically touch me. So they put me standing on these and they rolled the original product, this product. So I'm standing here and they rolled this. I didn't know what they were doing. And after about five, seven minutes, it was like a magician or a fairy had got into my spine and pulled my spine up and my body straightened. It was absolutely, I couldn't believe it. Oh, I said, these are feng shui of the body products, not knowing that they were Nikken products. So I went away and a few days later, my body went back and I had to force it on again. And I, thanks for the goodness, I took the card from that stand. And it was Gina Lazenby, who's, he's, Gina had, had organized this, um, this exhibition and she was coming to Dublin. And so she sent me a pair of insoles in the post and I thought I would have the same body experience, but I didn't. So Jeannie came to Dublin and again, I was too sore to do what we call a back massage. I couldn't let anybody touch my body. So Jean said, you need a back flex. You need the back flex and these. So I wore the back, got both, both the back flex and put it on my body. And four days later, I had the same experience as I had in Islington in London. My body straightened. But I wore the back flex. I took it off to have a shower and to use the go to the bathroom. And I wore it for four years. And here I am today. Don't need a back flex. I can bend. I can do Pilates. I can do my yoga. I can swim. I can walk. I can jog. I can do everything. Ten years down the road, if I can give another product experience, I got a brain tumor. And Nikken came to the rescue again. Uh, I brought all the products to hospital with me. I have photographs, but they're too gross to show anybody. Um, I've used every Nikken product. I'm wrapped up in all the Nikken products. Um, I'm not an interior designer anymore. I help people live healthy lives. I look at their homes. We now uh, look at the Nikken healthy home, happy home. Uh, just reconnecting people to nature using all these wonderful, fabulous products. Okay, so I could go on and go on and go on, but that would do for the moment, I think. <laughs> Thank okay. you. That's brilliant. Yeah. Mm. I, I love what you said about bringing nature into the home. Um, yes. I keep reminding myself that that's what we're doing. Yes. Uh, yes. There was this little, uh, I didn't know about that actually with yourself but there was this um uh greek man who had cancer and mm -hmm. they told him to go home he lived in england told him to go home and uh um you know just have his last uh, few months at home mm -hmm. <laughs> being That's back true. home which was actually you know right out in the country in greece um completely turned it around of course so, yes yes yeah and I, well, I got, I got, if I can just interrupt, I got very excited when, when I discovered that uh, Nikken had uh, a mattress pad that Dustmite couldn't, couldn't live in. Because yes. again, going back to my interior design days, that's what I was researching. I was re researching non-chemical products for my clients. And what was happening was, uh, okay, we go in and we do a beautiful job in the, in the house, put up these fabulous drapes, re do bedrooms, new beds, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. A month would come to this time of the year, the central heating would go on, 
the fabrics would outgas all their chemicals and children who had their beautiful new bedrooms were now coughing and choking and had to go on nebulizers and, and all this. And that was one of the reasons why I went and started researching non-chemical products. And my goodness, when I discovered this company had a mattress pad that just my couldn't live in, well, I contacted all my clients, everybody I knew were, were, were on sleep systems. Yes. And it just turned children's lives around. It was just amazing mm. how just sleeping in a clean bed. Yes. So you spoke about food. So we, we need clean food. Nick and have clean food. We need a clean environment. We need clean, a clean bed. And these are choices. These are educational choices we have to make for ourselves. Yes. Yeah. And tell everyone else about it. <laughs> oh, absolutely, yeah, yeah. Um, well, I'm aware it's uh, mm. 36 minutes to, so uh, thank you so much. Thank you, um, Linda Morse and the person who's on the telephone and Better Living Solutions. <laughs> Hello. Excellent. Um, Better uh, living being with us. I'm just going to stop the recording now, but thank you all for being here. And if there's any specific questions... Um, or if you just want to go, then that's fine. So I'm just going to stop this now.